Welcome back. Welcome back to his and her reviews. And Robert, what are we going to be trying today? Uh, today we're going to make like three homemade simple uh, wing sauces that you can make at home pretty simple. I'm uh, going to use, you can use whatever you want, but um, we got sriracha. This is like two bucks for this thing. So it's like the best, cheapest thing out there. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna, we're going to make is, this is, you can basically make any type of, uh, you can use any hot sauce and make yourself a wing sauce with it. Uh, the first person, I got here one tablespoon. The best part about this is you can make it real small batches too. So like I said, I got just one tablespoon of, right here of melted butter. And uh, you can mix whatever you want. We're going to use the sriracha. But basically a 50-50, one part melted butter and one part whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Uh, like I said, right here we're going to use sriracha. So we'll mix that up. And this is your basic buffalo sauce for any type of buffalo sauce. If you look on there, that's about it. If you look on the label, they probably use canola oil rather than butter when you buy them. But that's basically it. Now the only thing is uh, what you I'd recommend doing is mixing this up. You see the the um, sriracha is red, and as I go ahead and start to mix this up, it's going to turn that orangish color that you're familiar with with buffalo now i know sriracha is a little bit spicy so a couple things you can do to reduce the heat of it i'll test it out here if it's too hot for you uh just add more butter or you can add sugar instead of adding butter you can add sugar because sugar will sweeten it but also sugar reduces the capsaicin and kind of dissolves that a bit as well actually reducing the total amount of scoville units or whatever they're called in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a teaspoon of sugar to this one for us to try it out so that's pretty simple quick and easy right there the very first one we got it's already ready to go melted butter one tablespoon and then with the butter they got the markings on there you can just cut off a tablespoon one tablespoon of sriracha and a teaspoon of sugar so that'll be that one we'll set that aside all right, so the second one we got here, I'm going to go ahead and make, so this time I'm going to use one tablespoon of honey, or this is fake honey syrup. Is it? It's from the dollar store, it's not real honey. Oh, okay. But people are going to think everything we buy is from the dollar store. And then one <laughs> tablespoon they are. of sriracha. Now the honey isn't quite exactly a liquid, uh, so for this one, I'm just going to put a little splash. Uh, this is just white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. You could use soy sauce, or you could use, if you wanted, Worcestershire sauce as well. Gross. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of tanginess to it. We'll go ahead and mix that one up. And then, as you can see that, just adding that makes it the honey liquefy up there. And it's kind of getting yellowish too, so there we go. Uh, we're done with that one. So that's number two. All right, now I'm gonna make the third one. Now the third one, uh, the second one, the hot sriracha. I saw that on uh, Food Wishes uh, <laughs> for this honey sriracha. First one I just knew about that where you mix it half and half with butter. This one I saw on a guy named Shotgun Red. This one is gonna be skeptical as you can see I'm getting peanut butter right now. <laughs> so we'll see how this one goes. Plus I don't have the actual proper ingredients. So there's there's a spoon of peanut butter. I didn't quite come out there. So you want just equal parts peanut butter and jelly. This is a peanut butter and jelly wing sauce. What do you think about it? I, I don't that. know about this one. You said that you don't have all the ingredients for it. No, I used orange juice. I need a smaller spoon. You want to grab a smaller spoon? I don't. I th oh, yeah. We're back. And then, no, he used grape jelly. I don't have grape jelly. 
I have strawberry or raspberry fruit spread made with 75% fruit. So. You're using up all my good jelly. Yep. Good stuff. And then he added, uh, so he did add some sriracha, or, um, yeah, I think he added sriracha to it. Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of kick. Not really trying to make it a sriracha <laughs> one. And then the other thing he added to it was going to be orange juice. <laughs> I don't have orange juice, but I do have Mountain Dew, and as we know, Mountain Dew and orange juice are basically interchangeable. No, they're so not. A little, a little splash, because obviously a lot of this isn't truly liquid. Uh, so we just add a little splash of that. This one we're going to have to heat up to get it to fully dissolve and mix around. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and heat this up in the microwave. And then we're going to get some wings and we're come back and record them. And we're going to check them out and try them and see all these <laughs> homemade recipes uh, taste. And then we'll be right back. Are you ready? I'm ready. Welcome back. All right, we got our wings and I went ahead and uh, added them to the wing sauce. So we're going to go in the same order. Uh, this one is the butter and sriracha. I just dumped them right in these little bowls that we made for them. That we made them in. The nice part about all these uh, recipes is that, you see there, that's a nice pretty looking wing. So you can make as much or as little as you want of the sauce. And then with this one, the one where it's just butter and your whatever hot sauce you want. If you want to make your own hot sauce, that would be the place to start. Adjust the butter. Instead of sugar, you can add pineapple juice or whatever. Worcestershire sauce. That's the place to start to kind of figure out what you like and make your own personal sauce. So this is the first one. Butter and sriracha. Two parts butter, two parts sriracha, and one part sugar. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I like that. Probably could have went without the sugar. It's pretty mild. I like it though. That's a good sauce. Well, that's your, kind of your generic buffalo sauce. Hmm. Well, I think that one's a winner. What do you think of that one? Mm-hmm. Alright. I have a feeling that one will be my favorite. That'll be your favorite, you think? Well, let's try the other one. That was the butter and sriracha. This is the honey sriracha with a little splash. I like the first one because um, a lot of times I like the taste of the buffalo, but sometimes I feel like depending on where you get them from, or depending on what the sauce is, sometimes it can be too spicy for my liking. But the first one was really good. The sugar will destroy that heat, really tame it down. Uh, so this one is sriracha honey. So this is probably going to be even tamer. And like I said, a splash of vinegar just to give it something tame or of a sweet and sourish maybe uh, flavor. So here's that one. Mm -hmm. They look about the same. Yeah, this the color looks darker. about the same. A little darker red, this one. Alright, let's go ahead and try these. Yeah, this is good. It's about the same sauce, just it has a honey flavor to it. I think this one has more of a kick to it. There's more heat to it, too. I like the first one better. That honey is not as liquidy. It doesn't, it doesn't have the, as much surface area as the sugar, so even though we put a lot more in, it wasn't able to impact the heat as much as that half a, t or a one teaspoon. A teaspoon is half a tablespoon. So we had half as much sugar, but a little bit hotter because it wasn't doing the honey and not just, you know, all that surface area that's available on sugar, powdered sugar. I like it. It's a little bit hotter. So if you want, if you're adding sugar and you want just a little bit more, instead of adding sugar, maybe add honey. Or fake honey. Or syrup. Maple syrup. No, thank no. you. No. Alright. So that one's still a thumbs up. 
I like the spicy. first. I like the first one better though. Now we got. <laughs> next up is the, the crazy one. I'm I'm scared. Peanut, it's like. You open a jar of peanut butter and you looked at the color, you'd be like, "Yeah, I'm not. There's something wrong with that peanut butter." That's about the color. In between peanut butter and Nutella, it's kind of the color we ended up getting there. I'll show you here. I'm so. skeptical. Just so there's that one. So here is the peanut butter and jelly, with a little bit of sriracha over heat, and of course our orange juice substitute Mondo. <laughs> Because we all don't already use Mountain Dew or pretty much the they same They are thing. not the same thing. All right, you ready? I don't know. It's really sticky. Yeah, this one is goopy. It's kind of like a more on the order of a garlic parmesan goopiness. And this is more goopy than garlic parmesan. There is something wrong with this chicken wing. I'm not a fan. No, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. It's a texture thing for me. This is going to be a bit messier than the other ones. Yeah. Um. Something's just off about the texture of it. Okay, well, what does it taste like? Like I'm eating a peanut butter chicken wing. Yeah. The peanut butter overpowers other flavors you can taste them but it's yeah it's just basic peanut butter flavored chicken wing with a little bit of sort of sweetness and fruitiness in there and a little bit of heat but otherwise it's just basically a, a, a peanut butter on a chicken wing I think it's pretty okay I don't know if I'd make them every time or maybe occasionally or something well, then something I would turn down if somebody's like, here's, hey, you want some free peanut butter wings? I'd be like, I will take those free peanut butter wings. So what do you think? I liked the first one the best. But, well, that's your basic buffalo. Mm -hmm. That one I liked the best. The second one was good. I, I would eat it. But I thought that one had more of a kick, so I would need a Diet Coke nearby. And the three... I, I wouldn't eat if someone paid me to. Okay. It's just a texture thing for me. I don't like thick, goopy stuff and or weird textures. Yeah. Maybe add some more Mountain Dew or orange juice to it. Thin it out a little bit. But I think it was alright. Well, if you try any of these, Leave let us, us know. A, let us know. Leave us a comment down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And we will see you guys in our next one. Should we see what the the ring light looks like with all the colors? Sure. Nope. Where do you get to the multicolor one? There we go. Can you see it? Wheel of Fortune colors. Can you even see the red? You can't tell on camera even. We should just record all of our videos like this. I like the color. The I don't know, I kind of like the, maybe not that there one. There we go. This is, this one gives a really clear picture, I think. Don't you think? There we go. We should just film like this. You gonna eat the rest of the chicken wing or you want me to eat the peanut butter one? You can eat it. It's not for me. <laughs> yeah, I have a good one.